Hey there and welcome to SSB Crack Exams. I am Hemant and now we are watching the most important defense updates of 5th May 2020 that will be helpful for you in various examinations. And if you are preparing for various defense examinations, I would like to tell you that SSB Crack Exams is India's largest, most preferred online defense exams preparation portal. It is one stop solution for you if you are preparing for NDA, CDS, AFCAT, INET, Territorial Army and Indian Air Force, Airman Group X and Group Y. You can even follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram and even directly visit us through our website learn.ssbcrackexams.com to have each and every defense related information and you can even download our app from google play store where you can have all kinds of descriptive courses which will be helpful for you in cracking your examination in a more detailed and strategic way beginning with the question of the day which i have posted on 2nd of may 2020 and the question was is the bell boeing v22 osprey a helicopter or an aircraft the answer for this is that it is a combination of both. It is a tilt rotor military aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing and short takeoff and landing capabilities. It is designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with a long range high speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. To go in more detail, I would like to explain to you here in this particular animation that the Osprey is the world's first production tilt rotor aircraft with one three bladed prop rotor turboprop engine and a transmission nacelle mounted on each wingtip. It is classified as a powered lift aircraft by the Federal Aviation Administration. For takeoff and landing, it typically operates as a helicopter with the nacelles vertical and rotors horizontal. Once airborne and once it is in the air, the nacelles rotate forward in 90 degrees in as little as 12 seconds for horizontal flight, converting the V-22 into a more fuel efficient, higher speed turboprop aircraft. So the short takeoff and landing, rolling takeoff and landing capabilities and all are achieved by having the nacelles tilted forward up to 45 degrees. Other orientations are also possible. It has a ferry range of over 2100 nautical miles and its operational range is around 1100 nautical miles. Now we will begin with the first and most important defense update and that is the DRDO develops UV blaster for disinfection in COVID-19 prone areas. This is an ultraviolet blaster which is used for very high tech services like electronic equipment, computers and other gadgets where you can't treat that particular disinfection methods with chemically. So this is a ultraviolet blaster can also be used in shopping malls, airports, metros, hotels, factories, offices and etc. where large number of population uh, go through around those particular areas. To go in, more in detail about this particular equipment that it has six lamps each with 43 watts of UVC power at 254 nanometer of wavelength for 360 degree illumination for a room of about 12 by 12 feet dimension disinfection will be around 10 minutes and if it's around 400 square feet the disinfection will be for around 30 minutes if you have to place this particular blaster at different different places within that particular room next important update is that three ships have been sent to evacuate indians from the maldives and the uae they are the ins jalashwa INS magar and ins shardul all of these three have been sent to dubai and maldives to get all of the indian evacuees and all of these three uh, ships will return to kochi the next important update is that the three crpf personnel have been killed in militant attack in the jammu and kashmir's kupwara district we have even seen that Kalyan Ashutosh Sharma and along with him, around four other people have been martyred previously on Saturday on 2nd of May and this is a very sad full news. But after that, around 48 hours itself, again, one more uh, militant attack has happened in the same area. Militants have opened fire on Naka party of the CRPF at Wangam, Khaziabad in Kralgrind area of the district. Second major damage has been inflicted within 48 hours. A teenage civilian who has a reportedly of unsolved medical condition was also shot in this particular operation. Update is that the US Marine Corps simulates an anti-ship long range fires in Japan. US Marines with Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 115 and Marine All Weather Fighter Attack Squadron 242 have participated in the Harpoon training exercise. And this is a very important update that uh, the Marine uh, uh, Aircraft Group 12 squadrons have focused on naval missions and simulated anti-ship long range fires in order to enhance Marine Corps ability to affect the sea control and denial in all of the region of India Pacific. You can see here the Harpoon missiles being loaded into different aircrafts. And the next important update is that the US Air Force have deployed four B-1B bombers to Indo-Pacific. These were deployed to Anderson Air Force Base 
which is located in Guam in the support of the US strategic command BDF missions to deny or disrupt the threats and assure allies and other partners. This is a very important update for us. And the next important update is that the US and British ships have conducted an exercise in the Arctic aim to counter Russia. This is a very important update because Russia has uh, done uh, another exercise in the same area previous days a few days before where in which the Russian paratroopers have conducted an airborne exercise a counter to that exercise is this particular exercise which I am explaining to you here the US 6th fleet 6 C6F have conducted a bilateral naval anti-submarine warfare exercise with the UK above the Arctic circle where four ships from the two nations with the US submarine and the US P8A worked have together in the Norwegian Sea. Next important update is that the US troops they have launched exercises in Iraq to provide better security for coalition forces. What are these coalition forces? They are the US uh, forces and the Iraqi forces. They have done a combined joint task force operation inherent resolve. This is a very important operation. Please remember this. So this uh, the press release has been said that the US soldiers have took part in the live fire exercise at Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq to provide better security for coalition forces in the region. So Al-Assad Air Base is an Iraqi armed forces and United States armed forces base located in Al-Anbar governorate called as Anbar province of the western Iraq. This base is also used by the British armed forces in Iraq itself. Next important update is that the General Dynamics UK has delivered 400 Foxhound vehicles to the British Army. You can see the vehicles here. This is a very important vehicle because this is a low in weight and this is light turning circle. It enables it to operate effectively in urban environments where those areas very not very huge vehicles can be uh, deployed there and where infrastructure cannot support a very heavier and larger vehicles there these foxhound vehicles will be used foxhound has been used on operations worldwide including in afghanistan iraq and various training exercises including in cold weather deployment in norway too this is a very important thing and i have to additionally say that foxhound vehicle is also known as a general dynamics land systems global brand name as ocelot with uh, integrates highly survivable v-shaped hull technology and utilizes a dismountable crew pod designed for different roles u.s marine corps have equipped its new combat vehicles with medium caliber turret the kongsberg's protector mct-30 medium caliber turret selected for the u.s army striker dragoon infantry carrier vehicle will now be used for the corps new amphibious combat vehicles amphibious compact vehicles will be in four different variants derived from the armored uh, personnel carrier base and they might be a recovery variant or a command and control variant or an up armed variant or an enemy uh, turning variants and all so this is very important and the final one is that the ukraine is field testing its new combat drone in the donbass region donbass region is located in ukraine and this is a very conflicted region because this is a region where a lot of armed conflicts have been happened in uh, past and a youtube account has been claiming to be of an engineer of from robotics design bureau he has posted a short video purportedly of rsvk m2 hunter which you can see here the image i posted it here it is an unmanned ground vehicle ugv testing in the eastern donbass region no details were actually provided about the date and location of the test but it noted that the new ugv took part in the real combat against the pro-russian separatist forces now we will have a very quick review of the topics that I have discussed. First important question is which among the following is useful for high tech services like electronic equipment, computers and other gadgets in laboratories for disinfecting. The correct answer for this is UV blaster. Next important question is Al-Assad Air Base is in Iraq. Next important question is ACV stands for is it anti-combat vehicle or armed combat or amphibious combat or armored combat vehicle. The answer for this is amphibious combat vehicle. And the final one is which among the following is the global brand name of General Dynamics Foxhound vehicle. This I have told it to you if you are listening to me which I am telling to you the answer for this is Ocelot. Now we will have the question of the day and the question of the day for today is with which base India became the fourth country after the United States, Russia and Germany to have a military base in Central Asia. An air base which is located outside India in the Central Asia and with that particular deployment of the base India became fourth country after US, Russia and Germany to have a military base. So what is that particular base and the answer for this and the details of that particular base and how special is it, how strategic is it 
for our armed forces i will be explaining to you in the next session until then stay tuned to ssb crack exams please download our app so that you can have every lectures in your hands and you can even prepare each and every topic strategically and you can save your time and learn for the examinations properly until then stay safe at home and jai hind